things like I want you to be the baby daddy and I'm like I've seen your baby daddy he runs a 4-3 and can dunk and he's 5-6 Like you would be fucking retarded to have kids with me I'm on the spectrum I'm 90 percent sure and you want to fuck me instead of that dude uh, I won't be the <laughs> oh shit so I'm Corey I don't know if I mentioned that and uh do you guys think uh, they make Christmas themed like but for like Hindu holidays over in like India uh, this crowd's dead. <laughs> uh, shoot, I totally forgot what the fuck I was gonna talk. Oh, that's right. I took my niece. Uh, my brother has a new way of disciplining my niece. Uh, she was bad, so he made her ride in my car while I did Uber Eats all day yesterday to show her how good she has it. Like, like my air conditioning broke or something. It was crazy. And then uh, I gave her my phone, and she shut my alarm off. So I was late. I was like 45 minutes late to work this morning. Oh, it was great. But uh, this is me and my niece just riding around, picking up fucking Pizza Hut. It was awesome. Good bonding time. But yeah, my brother's like, yeah, I just want to show her how good she has it. And I'm like, this, this is because I bought a trailer, right? <laughs> I know you have a million dollar house, Chad. What the fuck? Anyone, uh, anyone has a, that like, stereotypical dad where he's just a natural hard ass and like, gives you shit for anything? Like I ordered a coffee and got two sugars and he called me gay. <laughs> Like, I thought you had to, like, fuck dudes to be gay. Apparently, you just gotta drink your coffee, like, with two sugars, and he's like, yeah, I'm old faggot coffee. <laughs> Have you ever been to a Starbucks, Jay? Like, they're doing a lot crazier shit than, like, two Splendas, my guy. There's a lot of crazy shit going on at the Starbucks. Uh, it was just, like, the weirdest thing. Like, he always, he always brags to me about being able to drive stick shift. And I'm like, well, weren't you supposed to teach me how to fucking do that? <laughs> like, that's kind of on you. And he's just like, yeah, boy, I just, yeah, talk, talk to two of the siblings. I just, uh, and then feel like going to third, didn't have any. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck you, dad. And then recently he told me that uh, I'm gay because I can't wash dishes when it's really hot. And I was like, let's go downtown Harrisburg and let's tell a bunch of bitches, yeah, I can wash dishes in boiling water. See how much pussy you get. <laughs> fucking douchebag. Yeah, me and my dad, we got fucking issues. And uh, July 14th, we got a show at Savannah's. I got Andrew Glessner. Casey Nicholson, Lennon Free, and uh, Damian Robinson is going to be your headline. Ten dollars is going to be at the sports bar, the little den next door. And if you show up, I'll give you free admission to Savannah's afterwards. You can come look at some tests with me. Let's go. Yeah, man, he's in. Let's fucking do this. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to put you on. You put me thirty third today. Hey, get up, Corey Miller. He ran his time. That's why. Corey Miller, go to that strip club show. It's gonna be great. I'll be there. I won't be watching the show. I'll be watching the strippers. <laughs> uh, come on, dude, right? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You ever been to Savannah's? Yeah, once. Well, good spot, right? Right. They have the craziest looking girls. Like, I mean that in a good way. <laughs> Don't fucking. <like, laughs> Do you work at Savannah's? No. Oh, yes. Fuck. Yes? But I'm not a dancer. You're not a dancer? No. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love you so much. <laughs> You're not a dude. You're not one of those fucking whores on stage. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're one of the fucking classy ones. I love that. Uh, guys, your next comic, please make this up for Aaron Scholl. <laughs> <laughs> 